Number 8. This is 1943-42 Lincoln sent with double die obverse. Graded in mint state 66 by PCGS. According to Coin World, though it is a known die variety, and has been for many years, it has only ever been recognized for its die doubling. It is currently listed as such in the Cherry Pickers Guide by Bill Fivas and the late J.T. Stanton. Variety FS 101, 019.5, among the 1943 S. Lincoln cents. The misalignment of the designs between the 1942 dated hub and the 1943 dated hub pivots around a spot on the left obverse rim. Because of this swing, the coin shows only trivial doubling on the word liberty close to the pivot point, but some fairly strong doubling almost due north and south at the base of the 1. There is similar doubling under the top curve of the 9 and along the right side the leg of the 9. This error penny ended up selling for $1,800 on September 26, 2023. Number 7. Here is 1938 Lincoln sent in PR67 plus red condition. According to Heritage, red examples of this proof issue are plentiful through PR66, but elusive in PR67 and unknown finer at PCGS. This plus designated piece is tied for finest at PCGS and CAC, making it the ideal registry coin. The strike is sharp, and the liquid-like fields show near-perfect preservation. It ended up selling for $2,760. Number 6. Moving on with this 1916 S wheat penny in MS65 red condition. The 1916 S is a conditionally challenging San Francisco issue seldom encountered in full red. Red gems are particularly desirable, and virtually impossible to upgrade. The present apricot gold example displays dynamic luster and only trivial indications of carbon. The strike is good, and the eye appeal is strong. Encapsulated in a mid-1990s fatty holder. It was sold for $3,120. Number 5. This is 1918 S. Lincoln sent in MS65 red condition. Attractive, frosty luster engulfs this gem red example in uniform copper red luster with no obvious abrasions. Some minor dye wear is evident, but the peripheral details are still well brought up. A few flecks in the right obverse margin are the only obvious imperfection. The 1918 S scent is rare in gem red condition and this specimen fetched a sum of $9,600 at auction. Number 4. Here is 1909 S VDB Lincoln scent in MS65 plus red condition. Attractive key date Lincoln scent. A pleasing gem example of the Lincoln scent key, showing natural golden copper luster and bold design elements. A few faint pepper specks are arguably discernible with a loop, but they are unseen to the naked eye. The golden leaning color is typical of the 1909 SVDB scent, as this issue does not naturally come with the deep orange-red hues seen on many later dates. It was sold for $11,100. Number 3. Here is 1936 Lincoln scent with brilliant finish. Graded as PR67 red by NGC. Following an absence of regular annual proof production for two decades, the Philadelphia Mint again struck proof coins from 1936 to 1942. The first 1936 proof cents and nickels had a satin finish while later coins of those denominations as well as all silver proofs had the brilliant, mirrored finish that is most familiar to today's collectors. This superb gem is one of those brilliant proofs that is sharply detailed and has fully mirrored fields. The surfaces are bright red with a few trivial carbon flecks to limit the grade. It was sold for $13,800. Number 2. Here is 1997 D. Lincoln scent in MS69 red condition. This modern scent is in the threshold of numismatic perfection, the condition or grade of the coin is a significant factor in determining its value. An MS69 grade indicates a coin in excellent condition. PCGS reported just two specimens in MS69 grade including this specimen with none finer. It was sold for $18,562.50 with buyer's fee. Number 1. And this is 1969 S. Lincoln sent with double die obverse. Graded in mint state 64 red by PCGS. A 1969 S. double die obverse sent will have strong and prominent doubling on the date. The doubling appears on a southeast direction and is more prominent on the date, the word liberty, and the words in God we trust. A true 1969 S double die obverse scent today are extremely scarce. However, many new collectors confuse the 1969 S double die obverse scents with machine doubling. 
Machine doubling is caused when the coin dies bounce as coins are struck. This occurs when the bolts holding the coin dies loosen. Machine doubling is very common and commands no premium. A true 1969s double die obverse scent will not have doubling on the mint mark as the mint mark was punched into the die separately. On a machine doubled coin, the mint mark will be doubled along with most or all of the legends and devices. This MS64 red specimen fetched a sum of $71,499.38 with buyer's fee at auction. Thanks for watching this video. Consider subscribing to our channel for more captivating numismatic content. Have a good one.